Namaskara, I'm Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal from Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, 15 Eagle Street, Shanti Nagar, Bangalore. And I'm an eye surgeon who's gone in for genetic research. Thereby, we give autologous immune booster therapy, giving fetal DNA and fetal stem cells to back to the patient from his own blood. If you ask a child to sleep with his eyes open, it's never going to happen. So obviously when that happens, it's only for some kind of pathological reason. One of the most important reasons here is that the nerve to the eyelids is not working. So he's not able to close the eye. This happens and the eye is permanently kept open. These are some of the reasons that some brain surgery or the patient has had operation done for ptosis and that became an overcorrection or the operation done for facelift and it became overcorrected whatever be the condition his eyelids are not closing we need to close our eyelids we need to close our mouth when we go to sleep reason being it dries up the mouth dries up the eye how do we do this if the patient has such a condition then whenever we put the patient to sleep we fill the eyelid up till the wherever the eye is exposed with eye ointment which is vaseline based and or we close the eye purposefully and then put a pad and bandage on it or we now take up a surgery where we produce a tarsorafi that means we will close the eyelid to give a very very small gap only so that the little bit that he needs for vision is less than two or three millimeters is left open. These are some of the ways that we can treat lag of thalamus.